Welcome back. All right, so there's a story going around that I, I wanted to do a, a video about. I have no idea how long this is going to take. You'll notice there's no whiteboard behind me. So uh, in the world of Rammstein at this time, things are turbulent. And I have them wearing their, their hat in videos lately. I have them wearing Rammstein shirts because of what's going on. So normally I might be wearing their hat or shirts, but nope. And I, you know, this is something that, that I've kind of suspected in a roundabout way for a long time. So I'm going to go back. I think it was the 2012 tour where they're touring North America and pictures emerged of, I think it was Richard and Till, who appeared to be getting lap dances backstage from a couple of young ladies who were topless. Uh, these pictures were removed very quickly, uh, just scrubbed away very, very quickly. Um, and, and there's always been talk of these backstage meetups between the band and, and young ladies watching the shows. Now, Ramstein is also a band of personalities and there's always been talk of how they don't always get along. Uh, this is why there were rumors on when their last album might be their, their final album. And those rumors have gone back to Man, I, I want to say Mooter. There were even rumors back then of, of we don't know how much longer this band is, is going to go because they all have strong personalities and they don't always see eye to eye. So with Rammstein, I don't uh, see them as this one big nebulous group, even though they've been a band for so long because their personalities are really quite different. Now, Till's the front man. Till, there's an ego there. And that's always been the case, and I've always had the opinion that he's he's got a bit of a temper as well. Um, I know in Edmonton, when the Pyros didn't work for the Angel Wings, I said out loud, uh, somebody's, somebody's going to get hurt backstage over this. Because he's a pyrotechnician, so he'd know what went wrong, and my guess is he wasn't happy about it. Um, but... The, the the girls thing that's coming out now is that there's there's discussions of women being drugged, right? And whether or not Till has been inappropriate. I'm trying not to get demonetized in this. It's a tough topic to talk about without being demonetized. So in all likelihood, it's probably going to happen. But I'm going to try my best to go through the terminology in such a way that maybe it doesn't happen. But... Uh, Till, he's, he's always liked the ladies. I know when we went to the concerts in L.A., the one thing that didn't sit well with me, and I believe I said that in the review of the concerts, um, is that they would they would show, like, young ladies in the crowd. Okay. All right, that's fine. But the encouragement was for them to flash the camera, which I am less fine with. I, I think that, you know, what we did in the 80s and 90s, that's 80s and 90s. I'm not a big fan of that now. And so, yeah, the first the first concert, I was like, this is unsettling. And then the second night in L.A. when we saw that concert, I actually looked away the whole time. I was like, all right, so I just, this this feels wrong to me. Uh, these, these young women are in their early 20s. They might be 18, 19. Did people ID these girls before they start? Because I, I don't think they did. I don't think, and so... Um, I was thinking, okay, some of these, some of these could be 16, 17 year olds. We, I, I'm not even looking at the screen. I'm looking down now till I've always felt like till doesn't like the aging process. There was a rumor at one point that Ramstein would stop touring when he hit 50, that that was the cutoff date and that that was basically it. Um, now that I'm 50, I understand why he would change his mind. You might be like, you know what? I, I still got the energy. I can still do it. Now, Till is 60 years of age currently. And, uh, last I saw, he had a girlfriend that was a model and was much younger than he. And we definitely see that. I know a lot of people make a big deal over Leonardo DiCaprio wanting to date women who are young enough to be his daughter. It gets kind of icky at that point. But, Till the ego is 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 pretty big, and and part of it seems to be tied to this idea of he he has numerous women, and this is you know it's it's that whole desirable side of things. Now I have pulled my support not too long ago, um, well actually it's over a year ago now I think over for Marilyn Manson. 
Um, I used to listen to Marilyn Manson's music, but with the stuff that's come out about him over the last couple of years, I've said, you know, I can throw my support somewhere else. Uh, problematic behavior will cause me to say, yeah, I'm done. Now, I'm not there with Rammstein as of yet. Their public statement regarding the accusations towards Till and what he may or may not have done, um, I don't think it's enough. And I think for band members, odds are there's probably arguing behind the scenes because they're usually arguing behind the scenes anyways. So my guess is that on this topic, there's probably a lot of arguing going on as well. Um, there is innocence until proven guilty, but once this first woman comes forward, and she straight up said, um, once she made it clear to Till she was not interested in any kind of physical involvement with him, he let her go. And, I mean, he wasn't happy about it, but he let her go. And some of the reports I've seen, too, from others, when he's told no, he seems to exit the room and get it. But that's the thing. Not everybody will necessarily say no. And in this case, if, if you listen to and read what's being said, they may not be in a position where they can say no in that they've been drugged, right? So this is a really rough situation for a band to come through on the other side unless they handle it well. To this point, the band is not. Um, I don't think the representation's handled it well. I guarantee you there's PR people who are just, their heads are exploding right now, just trying to figure out a way to navigate this. Because this is the kind of thing that, again, in the 80s and 90s, we would just say, well, that, that what did those girls think they were going to get? So now we know there's row zero, which is a before and after the show area where people can meet the band, but apparently row zero means you're, you're willing to engage in relations with the lead singer of the band. Not the band, and that's the thing. It's not like they're like, oh, do you like Paul? Do you like, do you like uh, Christoph? Uh, are you an Ollie person? No, it's just Till. So this, and this is something that uh, Till had a poem or uh, a, a book of poems that came out not too long ago. And there was some problematic wordage in that about this very thing. The idea of drugging somebody's wine and, uh, you know, and then they said, well, that's more of a fantasy than a reality. Should it be a fantasy though? Like I could list millions of fantasies and I mean, I, would you know, I'd be just, going through the cosmos from planet to planet would be one of them. Um, you know, sitting down and having dinner with some of my favorite hockey players of all time, that'd be on the list. I don't know that roofing somebody's drink would be on the fantasy list. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say that would not be on the fantasy list anywhere. Um, so, and, and that's, that's part of the reason why I've got the, the trophy husband shirt on. I don't wear this one very much. And, and really, you know, I got this while we were in Vegas because, of course, I did right there, Las Vegas. But it, it, I, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I can say, okay, um, I'm this age, and so there's certain behaviors I have to, I have to follow. And for, for rock stars, that hasn't been the case. Um, you know, just, just this week, we found out that Al Pacino, who's 82 or 83, um, is expecting to have a child with with a 29 year old girlfriend so she's she's perfectly capable of having a baby and men are capable of fathering babies late in life so even though apparently it wasn't planned it led to a lot of people saying 82 and 29 <clears throat> so it, it it really is it's a situation and you know De Niro I think what his seventh kid at age 79 I don't understand it myself I can't imagine being a new dad, even even now, you know, at, at, at my age, because, like, I, I just, I can't see it. I can't imagine that as, as my son or daughter was, was graduating high school and getting on with their life, I'd just, at that point, be an old man, and I don't know how much time I'd have left, right? So that's, that's something that, I mean, I'm, I'm not making a judgment here, but you can see that with with actors, with singers, and just with celebrities in general, there's there's a certain set of rules that apply to the rest of us that they don't feel like applies to them, and so I I feel like this is one of those reckonings that either the band's going to make this work, and the tricky part is like, I mean the fastest way to resolve it would be to say we've we've parted ways with Till, but that would be the end of Ramstein. They. I feel like either it's all six of them or it's none. And I've I've seen reports that there are fans trying to get rid of their tickets for the upcoming tour because of this. 
that there's there's arguing and fracturing online of Ramstein groups based on this, and I get it. But I, I think that it will be interesting to see once all these stories come out, what does the ban do? To, how do they react? Because that'll decide whether I go back to wearing their hats and whether I go back to wearing all their shirts and all that. Because I think a, as a band, they're geniuses. I think their music's fantastic. But yeah, um, if if the Till situation isn't handled well, and again, somebody somewhere is you know, probably dealing with migraines trying to figure out how to deal with this from a PR perspective because there are a lot of women that go to Rammstein concerts a ton. And if they decide, well, I think we're done, that's going to impact their their money. That's going to impact them a lot. And they seem to like making the money, right? Uh, that That's why they have the big outdoor huge concerts. Like when I was in LA, you know, tens of thousands of people, what, 50,000 people, something like that, and they, they really like that big attendance. I know uh, the last concert that came through Canada was in Vancouver. I was there. And when I saw that Rogers had restricted the seating to just the lower bowl, there was nobody in the upper bowl. And then, of course, you had floor seats. Just looking around, I was like, there's not enough people here for Ramstein to come back. It is about the money. It's about the maximum amount of money. So even though I'm sure there was a profit out of Vancouver, eh, it wouldn't have been enough to bring them back. And so far, I've been right. Um, if they were able to sell out, say, BC Place, sure, they'd probably come back to Vancouver, BC Place, nice big football stadium. But the reality is that it, they're, a, they're a niche band in Canada outside of the province of Quebec. Quebec, yeah, they can sell out those outdoor venues. They can get tens of thousands of people. But across the rest of Canada, they're, they're more of a niche band. I would imagine they could sell out in Montreal and Toronto outside of that. You know, it's it's kind of touch and go. I know when they were in Edmonton a year before the concert in Vancouver, uh, there were empty seats. I remember thinking, man, you know, people in Europe would just love to be here because there's some really good prime seats available at a cheap price. So anyways, um, we'll see what ends up happening with this. I, I honestly think that if they decided to replace Till, I think that would... It, it might extend the life of the band and it might be the best way to go about it. However, it would also change the band's dynamic. It would change their sound. And I don't know that the band would be willing to move on without anybody. Um, they only added keyboards because they wanted Flake in the band. I remember hearing stories about how the band formed. And there were no keyboards in the music necessarily, but they're like, ah, we want Flake in the band, so... They put keyboards into their songs so Flake could be part of the band. So they could all, you know, stay together. But at any rate, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. And again, it is innocent until proven guilty. But the number of, of women coming forward, it's pretty damning. And Till has to have a better answer than what he's had. I remember Maynard. I remember with, with the accusations against him. Uh, his answer didn't please people, but it was basically along the lines of he was sorry if there were people that, you know, felt like he had stepped out of bounds. And he stated it from his perspective. And, yeah, I mean, there's there's the rock star life. There's certain things that some, and I'm not, definitely not all, but there are some that it's, it's probably going to go to their heads and there's a certain expectation they're going to have. I'm not saying it's right. I'm absolutely not saying it's right. I'm not defending it at all. But it's there, and that's something that um, it, it, it definitely needs to change. Absolutely needs to change, and, and maybe that's what we're going to see out of this as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.